Most people, when they think of origami, think, you know, my eight-year-old is doing origami. Why are these engineers uh, uh, at BYU working with origami? BYU's connection with uh, origami began with the realization that origami was really a compliant mechanism. So a compliant mechanism is a device uh, that gets its motion from things like bending and deflection instead of hinges and bearings. And we can actually make them very low cost sometimes. They can also operate in very harsh environments like the environment of space. Origami helps inspire new ways of looking at how mechanisms can work or how we can approach solutions to problems. It's very expensive, very difficult to get things into space. And a nice thing with a lot of origami is you can make it very compact for launch, and as you get into space, you can deploy and be very large. I'm working on an origami-inspired deployable solar array for spacecraft. The panel hanging behind me is the 20th scale prototype of this 25 meter array system. By using origami principles, we can get a much larger array into space by stowing it compactly during launch and then opening it up once we're in space. The spacecraft would be inside an, a rocket, like an Atlas V rocket, and the solar array would wrap around the outside of the spacecraft. Um, it would be all folded up compactly and then launched into space. and deployed. This is our CubeSat version. As we open it, it opens to about 50 centimeters and has the potential to generate about 65 watts of energy at this actual size. CubeSats are kind of the new novel way of getting things into space quickly because they're small, they don't cost a lot, and you can throw them on with any rocket that's going into space. In addition to working with people like the National Science Foundation, we have projects with NASA Marshall Space Flight Center in Alabama, and also with uh, JPL. These are the same people that do the Mars rover and other things. We are doing origami-inspired uh, mechanisms, a solar expanding solar array. We're involved uh, with the collaborator, Robert Lang, who is a world-renowned expert in origami. It's very unique to work with someone who is such an expert. He's defined an area for himself in this, you know, mathematics and origami kind of crossover field. And so this combination of taking this art, this ancient art, and combining it with engineering, we've been able to discover new things and new motions that wouldn't otherwise be possible. I think the biggest thing to learn from this kind of research is that you can find inspiration for designs from anything. If you're open to inspiration from any of these sources, then your creativity is, is not limited.